most of them are mildewed or just not worth your picking. Up. We even put these back. Let's say there won't be a slideshow video in the future for these. Ah, howdy! Sorry about my hair, it's probably a mess. Uh, got a few things in town, things I probably should have left in town. I was trying to adjust my height so I don't have to mess around so much. Because when I redo my tripod, I wouldn't figure out when it's got its legs the way it is now. I know exactly where I'm going to be and I don't have to take a lot of time. I uh, hope that TV's not too loud. This Bill and Ted's video doesn't play for about the first 10-15 minutes. It's just snow and some sound, but hope I can clean it or it'll get better after I play it through. It's an old Sherry's video rental too. Same with the, this one I got today. I paid 99 cents for, but it's uh, Sport Your Local Sheriff. I love that movie. James Garner, uh, but it's a Sherry's video. One, two. So, uh, oh, that still has her end sticker. That's usually not mm -hmm. on there. They usually just say Boyd because somebody's peeled the top off and the strip's fallen off. So I'm going to get rid of it. But yeah, I might keep it because it's one of my favorites. Like Bill and Ted, I don't know. I was going to accumulate all the Sherry's video ones. But uh, what else did I get today? I got some more tape. I got these yesterday and I guess I never showed them. Uh, Got a McDonald's. It's a racing one, but it looks pretty much new old stock. I doubt maybe somebody wore it a couple times. And I got uh, Pirates. Uh, still has a tag. Uh, I think this hat's like third, over thirty bucks maybe. I don't know for sure. It might not be. And then uh, this one, uh, fifty nine fifty. I'm not sure if that's what this hat's considered. I don't know hats like this. At least what this stands for. I know it's something to do with the style of the hat. I know there's like a low profile, which I think that is, and then the duck bill, <laughs> but not a hat person, so and this one, you know, like I said, has a tag, these two are both new, they have one other one, but it was, uh, I forgot to turn this down, um, I forgot, it had some uh, smudges, and I don't know if they were stains, or if they, it was probably just some dust or something, but I may pick it up if I sell these, and, but, I may not list them. I may just save them for the flea market and sell them for like ten bucks a piece, and that'll be a good deal for somebody. Uh, and I'll still make some money. Uh, and then I got. I decided to buy Old Yeller. It was the other Blu-ray that was down there, and I didn't buy it because when I kind of looked it up roughly, I, they were selling new for twenty-five bucks. But when I I did I rechecked it, and I noticed there was one used for there was two listed new, and they were fifty bucks a piece. 
and then there was uh, one pre-owned that was 1999. But then today, when I was down there, now I might buy it. There's other I sold five of the other seven. So anyway, I decided I'll, I'll look it up. Well, the 1999 one was just the slip cover, <laughs> not the movie. So I, I think I'm gonna list it for probably 39.99 because there's no. I don't think I'm gonna double check, make sure there's no other ones listed right now. But it's another Disney movie club. So I would assume that's what they're doing with all the questionable ones. They don't really want to put them out through Walmart or whatever. They're just selling them right directly to people through their catalog. I already say that. That's like I told that story about my dad's cider press that uh, oh yeah, I wrote some notes down for corrections. Because uh, I thought I, I always get deja vu a lot and I figured I probably already said something about that in a previous video because I'm bound to have drove that way on another video. But uh, my dad wasn't trying to uh, become a cider maker. It was just another side project. He did flea markets. He sold cars in our front yard. He worked at uh, Corey Jamestown for a long time. And then he, him and my brother opened a car lot in the 70s. Uh, the cider was just one of them, uh, I don't remember, it was a couple of years that we did it. A lot of bees and stuff like that. And I remember we had, he we used to go to the dairy and buy glass jugs. <laughs> I think it was the glass ones that we were driving home from the, uh, I think probably we were, I think we were selling them at Crawford County Fairgrounds during the steam engine show. They used to have a flea market. And I think it got real hot and on the way home, lids started popping off the bottles <laughs> in the back of the car. All right, back to that. And then there was a, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, I mentioned about my mom, something about her. She got a speeding ticket. Don't tell anybody. Uh, and, uh, oh, the, about the tapes, even though I don't ha didn't have a lot in the tapes, it seems like I brought this up, but maybe it was in the last video, but, the, you know, the tapes of cleaning all the stickers and all that stuff and listening to them all, you know, it's a lot of work. So if you like tapes and you like music and stuff, then it's kind of fun. That's why I do all this stuff, because I, I love messing with the tapes and things, so it's just, you know, it's not really work. Uh, but... You know, just be a good ta any music style records or tapes. You really need to play them, and you know, don't just sell them. Hey, it looks good. Well, they don't always look that great. People's eyes look different when they're trying to sell something. Uh, and I got uh, I got some tapes. I have some more tapes laying out today. Somebody messed up. I sorted that basket, and somebody messed it up. Let's just pick up a pile and look under it put them back. You know? uh, there was a whole bunch of this guy, John Michael Talbert, and Talbot, and uh, there's like seven of him, and I'm going to list them as a lot. I think they all look good. And I also got, uh, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. That looks in good shape. I'll probably sit out in the van and test them. It's easier than doing them in here, because if I do them in here, I put them in, and then usually end up listening to the whole stupid thing. But. And uh, Adventures, uh, only the hits. Like I said, this is all the other guy's stuff. He, I saw somebody else had a lot of 16 tapes. I, I don't remember what they were asking for him. And then there was maybe three or four tapes sold for like eight dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna probably put like 20 bucks on them. Seven, seven. Oh wait, there's only six. What happened to the other one? Huh. Well, that's great. Oh wait, here it is. I just got done cleaning all up. I guess this one still has a sticker on it. That's basically what you got to deal with, with these damn stickers they're using. So anyway, uh, let's see what else they get. Uh, Leia, will you stop cleaning yourself? Oh, I got a canister, 50 cents for this uh, Darjean, you know, Dar it's not movie by what's his face, Darjean Limited. Boston starting limited. Uh, I think it's an older tin. Uh, don't see anything that doesn't it probably I would say it's probably it could be the seventies. Uh, and then I got uh, paid a buck for a child of Prague. Um, it's a Hong Kong hard plastic one. I think I can get twenty bucks for it. Fifteen twenty with the shipping. Not included. No. Two more things, I guess, is all. Oh, wait, what's in here? oh no, I got some videos today at the two bit store. I got a Cry Blood Apache. It's probably not worth reselling other than maybe the flea market. I bought it because the one guy in the cast, Don Henley from the Eagles, is in this movie. So I guess I'm going to see how good an actor the guy is.
And the Big Valley, Volume 1, which must be the pilot episode. I remember watching this a lot when I was a kid. We only had Channel 12 out here in the sticks, so uh, you got stuck watching Only what was on there. I was so happy going to my grandmother's. Being at my grandmother's like being an only child after being a middle kid. So, because my grandmother loved having me around for company. And I really miss those days. Uh, Lee Majors, Fall Guy, uh, Ash, Ash's uh, father in the uh, Evil Dead TV series. Linda Evans, uh, and then uh, what's her face? That hot blonde. Oh, uh, oh, wait, Linda Evans is the hot blonde. She was on Dynasty. Who's the old lady? Barbara Stanwyck. Yeah. And then uh, that brother that was the lawyer, and then this tough guy. I don't remember who he was. He always reminds me of like James Ramar or one of them kind of guys. Babble. Uh, three hours of cartoons. Jaws 2. I like this box because it's a full size image. But it's got some damage. It's not worth anything. I'm just a sucker for the VHS tape. And then a part of a set called, uh, ew, what's stuck on the front? That's gross. Looks like somebody used it for a coffee hole. <laughs> Tales from Avalon Lee, Avalon Lee, Season 1, Volume 3. It's like four episodes. I don't know why I bought it. And then this Bond thing that evidently came in a set or as a bonus because there's no UPC symbol. Uh, what the heck? Bond man Daniel Craig. Uh, I see what it is. It's a whole bunch of garbage movies featuring guys that have played Bond. We got Daniel Craig and Love and Rage. From what? It's R rated from uh, 1999, so right before he's Bond. Roger Moore and Gold, I've seen that before. Uh, Timothy Dalton is Passion's Way, don't know. Barbara Bach and Legend of the Sea Wolf. Hey, she wasn't even a Bond, she was a Bond girl. I like Barbara Bach, she's married to Ringo Starr. Uh, Lana Wood, Nightmare in Bedden, Bedden County, uh, and then we got Ulysses, uh, Ulysses Andres, the Slave of the Cannibal God, and Michelle Yeoh, Silverhawk. Boy, she's a, I love Michelle Yeoh. It's too bad she didn't really get discovered over here until she was already like 40. Uh, Christopher Lee, Satanic Rites of Dracula, and we've got Richard Keel, Phantom Planet, you know, Jaws, and that's it for those dumb things, and then we got this, which, uh, was ten bucks, Fenton, uh, I couldn't find this three candle holder type bowl, so I don't know, so, and then my final thing, uh, I'm gonna have to cut a little area here, and now I'm gonna go get this ready. Alright, I picked this up today for ten bucks. My stepdaughter wanted it, but uh, I'm probably, I don't know, she said if it was green she'd want more. I had to do some research on it, but it's uh, one of these lamps. But, uh, uh, there's ones that are worth hundreds of dollars, like these lamps, but this is a probably more modern one. It is vintage. The thing that threw me off, I had to really do some research, was this piece is plastic. And you can tell the... <laughs> uh, batteries died, and I looked out in cameras not working, but I had to find a place talking about this being plastic. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I'll probably list it tonight. If I don't list it soon, it'll get put in the back room and forgotten. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'll probably do that. It's a pretty cool piece. But, uh, I'll do some more research on it. You can tell the better ones, they don't have this base. They have a uh, flatter base doesn't have this big glass part going up and I'm assuming this part's probably not plastic. There you go. Um, probably it won't be the end of this video. I don't have a lot. Didn't have much. I did film a little bit of footage at the one store, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> I think I had some spy footage from this Goodwill today. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, forgot. They, uh, 
people by the park remembered I bought the other one of these for my friend's wife, and uh, they had another one, so got another one. Holy crap, I just noticed something I'm going to have to ask them about. Look at these bags. Holy goodness, they hold records. If I had seen it before, they'd given me, I never get a bag usually. Oh man, I'd buy it those uh, stupid uh, Save-A-Lot bags. And I got the ones that were the wrong size off eBay. And these, like, freaking perfect! I'm going to be talking to them Friday.